CD 929 hanging out backstage at Bonnaroo with the one and only Matt Mason. Thanks yo, for spending the time. Yes, sir. It's kind of funny. Just before we started taping, I was apologizing. Like, oh, sorry, I got to set up all this gear. I'm a one-man band. And you're like, me too. It was a solo tour. I didn't realize it was a solo tour. Yeah, we're doing... It was a full month of solo shows, and then we're doing this today, and then I've got like a week and a half off, which nice. I can't wait for that. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah. It's the first uh, tour that you've done solo of this size. I uh, heard another interview where you were talking about like the very back to the basics, Matt Mason, touring and sleeping in Walmart parking lots, and then going to like a shitty hotel. I'm going to have to bleep that out on the radio, but and yeah. then a slightly less shitty hotel they're not making any camp are they no 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 okay, so good. this this tour it's bigger so we're able to like get like nice hotel rooms and stuff but yeah when you're talking about the starting shows where back in like 2016 17 when it was you know nobody really knew who i was and i was just doing like either residencies at bars or opening sets for other people that was that was run and gun and yeah, Slim Jim's for dinner and yeah. yeah. It's well-deserved lodging. I knew that you're a, obviously a successful musician for God's sake. He's playing that tent at Bonnaroo in just yeah. a couple of minutes. Damn right. Uh, but it took me in like opening up your press release to be like, oh my God, you're one of like six musicians to have two number one songs on your debut album. Yeah, is that true? I, it is. That's crazy. Yeah, um, I don't, honestly don't remember what they were, but I know that they're apparently special. It was like the only m- male alternative artist to have two number one records at alternative from one album. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Hyper specific, but <laughs> yes, I'm like, true. I'll take it. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I resonate with that as a member of the very last uh, independently owned and operated commercial alternative rock radio station in the U.S. Oh my God. Congratulations. We're special. We're, yes. we're <laughs> two peas in a pod. That should be your slogan for your radio station. <laughs> I put that yeah. on a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. A very tiny bumper sticker. A new single is Rational. Out now. Next single is Get Happy. Uh, what can you tell us about these these couple of tracks? Are you working towards a new project? Not really um i'm kind of just letting things fall together i worked you know on that first record really hard and then toured it really hard and then worked even harder on the second record toured it really hard at the same time as like having a kid Mm -hmm. um and it was exhausting and so basically everything i'm doing right now is because i want to try and i make a song record it we finish it i put it out a month later yeah you're able to keep the excitement you know um which making a record it's like a song could be six years old you know because you've been working on it so long so these singles that i'm putting out aren't really a part of any kind of uh overarching project they're kind of just singles and i'm putting them out as i go um so like rational uh is a pretty piano heavy one pretty big courses um but sonically it's a pretty chill song and then get happy which is coming out in a week is very very heavy it's uh it's a lot of screaming we're gonna play that one today and i'm definitely gonna be sweating by the end of that one yeah very cool well i'm looking forward to hearing it for the first time out there at that tent at bonnaroo matt mason one more thing before we cut you loose i always like to run everybody through a quick lightning round here at the end let's do it fires get in your head right before stage time dogs or cats dogs coffee or tea coffee if you had to rename the statue of liberty what would you name it statue of liberty if you had to fight one of these two cereal mascots which one would you choose between uh, count chocula or captain crunch who do you think all of them all, both all at once. Them. All enemies, yeah. What about Captain Crunch's crew? They're chill. They're chill. Last question that I like to ask everybody. What do you consider to be the prettiest American state in terms of its geographical outline alone? Ooh. What state has the best shape? Dang. That's... Texas has a pretty cool shape. It's iconic, isn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to think of state shapes. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm going to go with Texas. I'm yeah, Texas, go Texas is a really solid answer. Yeah. Matt Mason, thanks again for taking the time at Bonnaroo. Enjoy your time at that tent. We're looking forward to seeing it and hearing the new single when it comes out soon. Thanks for having me, man. Hey, this is Matt Mason, and you're listening to Central Ohio's Alternative, CD 92.9.